Hello and welcome back to Tetra Football and the World Cup is the most prestigious tournament, most coveted trophy and you expect the creme de la creme to be playing in the tournament. However, I'm going to contradict that and go through every Premier League club and pick the worst player that each, from each team that has been called up to the World Cup. So first up is Bournemouth and only two players got called up, Mepham and Kiefer Moore and they've both been pretty good this season so it's a toss up between the two, although I think Moore does more for his country so I'd probably go for Mepham being the worst player from Bournemouth to be called up. Next up is going to be Arsenal and they've had so many good players called up so for me it's a pretty obvious choice, Matt Turner for America. He does alright for his country but for Arsenal he's only been the backup keeper, he's only been playing in the Europa League so I do think yeah, that is pretty obvious it has to be him. Next up is going to be Aston Villa and I think him, then Donka, Cash and one other player got called up, uh, Emiliano Martinez and I think it's pretty obvious that for me it's Jan Bednarek. I think Dendonka is a better player, more versatile and it was toss up between Dendonka and Bednarek but Bednarek's lost 9-0 I think twice and Dendonka hasn't, hasn't done anything like that so I'll go for Bednarek from Aston Villa. The next team is going to be Brentford and they have some quite well-known players from their squad going. Ivan Tony missed out, obviously. However, the one player I didn't even know existed from them when I was researching for this video, Godos, he's gone with Iran, and to be honest, I know nothing about him, and the players that have been chosen from Brentford are quality players, so it's got to be him. Next up is Brighton, and they've got some pretty good players going. Matoma, Caicedo, Stupid and sorry for getting the names there. However, there is one Ecuadorian who I think it's harsh to put him in here, but I'm going for Sarmiento. And to be fair, he's not an awful player, he's just young, he hasn't played much, but pretty much every player Brighton's called up has, from Brighton that's been called up has been playing and performing well. And Sarmiento, he's only sort of been there to develop a bit and hasn't played too much, so he's got to be the worst from Brighton. Next up is going to be Chelsea, and for me, this was between Gallagher or Zakaria. Both for me have been pretty anonymous in Chelsea's midfield. Zakaria has played a decent chunk less, however, he does always perform for the Switzerland, for the Swiss. So for me, I'm going to go with Gallagher, because one, I don't think he does much in games, and two, I don't think he'll do much for England at the World Cup. Next team is Crystal Palace, and I think it was another team with only two called up, it was either Jordan Ayew or Anderson and I think it's quite close but I'd go for Jordan Ayew because Anderson he's been starting every week and doing pretty well for them whereas Ayew he does do well whenever he plays but he's not consistently in that team. The next team though is Everton and for me it was pretty obvious out of the players they picked it's going to be Idrissa Gay. I just don't think he's quite at the level especially for consistency of the other players that have been picked and has been outshined, outshone by Anana, the midfielder that Belgium are taking from Everton as well. The next team is Fulham and for me everyone called up from Fulham has been pretty good this season, very solid but I think Tim Ream out of those bunch is probably the worst and I feel like he's going to be part of a pretty poor American defence at the World Cup. The next team is going to be Leeds and yet again another team where pretty much everyone's called up done pretty well. I think only three players, so obviously the two Americans, Aronson and Adams and then Chris Denson, the right back, has been called up as well for Denmark and for me it's got to be Chris Denson. He's just been the least influential for that Leeds team so I think that it's got to be him as the worst player called up from Leeds. He's just not quite on the level of the other two I would say. The next team is going to be Leicester and for me this was between Amati or Namplays Mendy because Amati he started the season rubbish but he's looked a lot more solid especially for someone as a fullback playing centre back out of position so for me that probably means I am going to just go for Namplays Mendy. I just, I'm not sure if he even gets game time for Leicester, he's just not at the level they thought he was when they first signed him a couple of years back. The next team is going to be Liverpool and for me this is pretty obvious, we have loads of star players that get called up, quite a few star players missed out like Thiago and Firmino, however for me it's got to be Jordan Henderson, he's the worst actual player that's been called up from the Liverpool squad and he's probably not going to play at all in the World Cup so probably the worst Liverpool player to go to the tournament. 
Next team is Manchester City, and for me, another obvious one. They had like 16 players called up, and pretty much all of them are quality players. And for me, the only one that isn't is Calvin Phillips. I still don't know why they bought him. He'd been injured for a whole year. Didn't help lead at all in their survival. And I do think that he's probably not going to play for City much at all, however long he spends there. And for me, I think he is the worst player from City that has been called up to the World Cup. And as an England fan, I don't know why we did call him up. Next team is United and obviously between Shaw and Maguire. Uh, Shaw, however, has played a bit more and found a bit of form. So I feel like I'll go for the obvious pick and Harry Maguire is the worst Manchester United player to be called up for obvious reasons. Next team is going to be Newcastle and... The players they called up, I can hand on heart say none of them are deserved to be put in this video. It's Bruno Guimarães, Nick Pope, uh, Kieran Trippier, and I think Callum Wilson as well. None of them deserve to be in this video. So for Newcastle, it is going to be no one. I think they're all quality players and have really well this season, and none of them are particularly worse than any of the others. So the next team then is going to be Nottingham Forest, and for me. Their best players have probably been called up, like Johnson and the other players. But their worst one is probably going to be Hennessy. He'll probably only be playing second choice behind Danny Ward, so I don't think he'll get any game time, and he's not that good of a goalkeeper either. The next team is Southampton. They only had two players called up, and for me, two of their better players, Salisu for Ghana and Bella Kotchap for Germany. And I personally really like both of them and I think they're both pretty good so if I had to pick one of them to be worse I'd probably go for better Kotchap just because Salisu is that bit more experienced as a centre back so from Southampton better Kotchap. Next team is going to be Spurs and for me it's between Eric Dyer, Ben Davies or Hoiberg because I personally don't rate Hoiberg but I do admit he's had a great start to the season in the first half so it's not going to be him. Ben Davies it's between him and Dyer, I think they're both pretty much the same player and just because the whole England squad I think was wrongly picked on purpose, I'll go for Eric Dyer. I just don't think... Well, against Liverpool we basically set up Salah and I think he's got a mistake in him that Davies, a little more consistent, doesn't have as much. So the next team is going to be West Ham and for me it's between Kerra or Ariola. Ariola doesn't even play behind Fabianski, but every single time I've watched West Ham and they've been using Kerraher, he has been abysmal, he's been poor, and I really think West Ham would be better off not playing him at all. For me, he's just looked awful whenever he's played. The final team of the video, Wolverhampton Wanderers, they had a couple of players called up for Portugal, of course. However, the two non-Portuguese players called up Jimenez and Huang Hee Chan, I think that they're both forwards, but they're not really scoring much anymore, which is a huge problem for Wolves, and out of the two, I'd probably pick Jimenez now, because of all, I really liked him before he got his injury, I thought he was a really good player, since he's been injured, he's not been the same, and I think that Huang Hee Chan, he offers a bit more pace, a little more skill on the ball, so I feel like Jimenez is probably the worst player out of the two. So that is the end of this video. Tell me who you think is the worst player from your club to be called up. I think I got that pretty accurate, but you tell me what you think I got wrong. And remember to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.